Alright, here's my Eaton Viking D6000 that I'm uh, right now making into a little racing tractor. <clears throat> I got this five horse horizontal Briggs. <clears throat> it's not in the best of shape. I have the carb the tank right here. It it was the spark plug kids. It runs, but needs a new diaphragm. There's not one here, but we made a cardboard one, but it just didn't end up working. And if you remember, I have videos of the gas that came out of this thing, but uh, the exhaust, the intake threads could be stripped, or they're the wrong bolt size that I had in there, and I need to weld this on right here. <clears throat> I cut it off for the mini bike. And I think that's what could have almost stripped the threads because it would, the tank would rattle. But my dad borrowed this from my, his friend, Mastercraft MIG welder, for now, until we get a bigger one. But it is gas. So yeah, I'm making this into a little racing tractor. <clears throat> I have the old Briggs here. I could probably use that for parts for this, but eh. Anyways, I was working on the steering here. I never made a video of my, the big Craftsman racing mower, but there is play in the steering like this, and I just welded on washer, two wash or a washer here and a washer here on the Craftsman, and that stopped the play side to side. So that's what I'll need because when this is on the ground, when it was normally, the wheels would be pushed out to one side. As you can tell, the minimal tread, wear, tread left on those, <coughs> so the wheels need new bearings. And <coughs> I think I'll, sorry, got a bit of a cold. I think I'll do the washer job here too. And on both of these sides because from riding so misaligned for so many years, you can see the ridge right there. That's where it's wearing out and having the play. Like so. But yeah, I'm getting a clutch for $20 off. My friend Munich scared me for this. And then I'll remove this transmission because it's shot too. It clicks under load and churns. So I'll just have this kind of a chain running from the clutch all the way back to the rear end right here, which is limited slip, but it's not a real big deal. And I'm not sure about if I'm going to lower it or not yet. But for now, it should be good. I think the lowering for the front, you need to weld on something here. And then you just extend a bit for more stability. But right now, I don't really have the money for widening and lowering. But it should work. So yeah, there's the five horse braids that ran last year before we put it away. And there is the vertical shaft. I was thinking of using this because this motor is in much better shape and runs real nice because this might need, this does need a diaphragm. But I don't know if you can run a centrifugal clutch upside down. And then I just put a sprocket on here. But another bad thing, I don't think this, tra this forward reverse tranny would be able to take that because it clicks right now when you're under load and churns and pops chain off but yeah that's the update um, I'm gonna pressure wash this after <laughs>